we saw thick clouds of black smoke. The situation was still somewhat unclear, especially during the incident in Kiefersfelden, where we realized this thermal imaging camera is absolutely essential for us. My name is Manfred Burian. I'm with the Kufstein Fire Department, Incident Commander of the Hazardous Materials Vehicle. Today, I'll briefly describe an operation where we use the Drega UCF Fire Corps for the first time. It was on Tuesday, January 21st at 5.36 p.m. We were alerted to assist in Kiefersfelden, which came as a surprise to all of us. Kiefersfelden has its own aerial ladder, and since then, those kinds of alerts have become less frequent. So, it was clear to us right away, okay, this had to be something big. We then all reported to the fire station, got our gear, and headed out as a unit, with a command vehicle, aerial ladder, and water tanker to fight the fire in Kiefersfelden's industrial park. It wasn't just us from Austria who were called out. Units from Bavaria and nearby towns were also dispatched for firefighting and water supply. In total, about 120 firefighters were on site, with 30 vehicles and two aerial ladders. That's when I thought, this is a serious fire. In a building fire like this, the whole structure fills with smoke. Visibility drops to half a meter, maybe one. You're basically working blind and it quickly became apparent that this retail store was fully engulfed in flames. I actually knew the store, I had shopped there before. But once inside, you couldn't recognize anything. The situation then escalated quickly. Then the window panes were smashed, meaning the shop windows of the store were also smashed which created a vent for the smoke. At that point, however, no firefighting efforts had yet been made, so the fire spread rapidly. You could see that from the smoke development. Then we launched a full exterior attack, and that's when the advantage of the UCF Fire Corps came into play for the first time. We positioned ourselves at the store entrance, and my first reaction was, wait a minute, I can see what's happening inside. I had a clear sense of the layout inside. It immediately felt safer because we had more information to work with. Our normal procedure is that a breathing apparatus wearer carries the thermal imaging camera, a handheld thermal imaging camera. With the new UCF Fire Corps, everyone wearing breathing gear has one. Each person could see for themselves. And, thanks to this additional information, we could respond much more effectively. At the front of the building, the windows were barred. So, our third crew member used a power cutter to remove the bars. On the thermal image, the metal stood out clearly from the smoke, which we wouldn't normally have been able to see. He was able to cut through, and in that corner, which had been one of the darkest, he was able to start extinguishing the fire. Thanks to a comprehensive external attack and targeted internal attack, we got the fire under control after about an hour. Then came the overhaul phase. Our team was involved in that too. That's where the camera came in handy again. We went back inside. There were no open flames left. So we could calmly concentrate on searching for hotspots and assess whether there were any remaining hazards. The Kiefersfelden Fire Department stayed on a bit longer to keep watch for any remaining fire risks. We from the Kufsten Fire Department were able to withdraw after two successful internal attacks and restore all of our equipment. Drega's development is so advanced. The camera is very compact, easy to use, can be worn on the body with the display directly in the mask. The advantage? The thermal imaging camera does not fog up. I always have a clear image. And best of all, I have both hands free for the job. So you can operate the nozzle, you can rescue someone, and put simply, get the job done.